Okay, this is the car OBD MD. For those of you who are familiar with cars, you'll understand that. Uh, this is my first post, and I'm, I have a couple restoration projects I'm doing right now where I had to take the head off and delve a little deeper into the motor. And one of the things I wanted to post first was a little introduction to head gaskets. Now this right here, what I have in my hands, is a head gasket. And as you can see, there are four main holes for all the four pistons in this engine. So it is just a four cylinder. Um, now this sits right between the head of the motor, which contains the valve train, and the block, which contains the bottom half, the bottom end, as, it, as it's referred to in the automotive industry. Uh, which would be the pistons and the crankshaft and whatnot. Now this particular head gasket is off an old Suzuki motor and it is it's from 84. Um, it has had a long hard life and just to go over a couple things a lot of people if you do head gaskets yourself um, or if you take it to a shop they'll just test and find that it has a bad, head, uh, a bad head gasket and that's it. When they go in and take it apart they'll just take this off and immediately throw it away which I'm not about. Uh, what I like to do is I like to look at the old part and see where it failed, isolate what exactly caused it. What if there's a burr on the on the block or on the head that needs to be fixed? You know we'd be able to tell that on this head gasket. Now as I took this head gasket off uh, it is dirty, that is true. Uh, it is in some areas where the silver uh, the silver lining came off the composite material. You know, that's not a big deal. We see that quite a bit, especially since this is such an old vehicle. Uh, but one thing I do want to show you, and hopefully you can see this, is right here. You'll notice there's a metal ring around each cylinder and we'll call that the fire ring. Now the combustion when the head gasket and block are compressed is to stay within the fire ring. And If you compare between these two cylinders here, these two fire rings, it does look worn but that's just from being on a vehicle since 1984. This is the original head gasket. But if we look here we have carbon buildup and deposits. I can wipe it off. I can tell there's been combustion gases and pressure leaking out of the fire rings on both sides of these cylinders. Now, not only here, but also continuing, we have some here as well, and not so much in the middle. So we can definitely tell that this was leaking. So it's not something, oh, you know, there's no problem with the head or the block. We're going to have the head reconditioned. We're going to make sure the block is sufficiently prepped. But this was just a failing head gasket due to the, uh, the wear and tear from over the years. Since it is a vehicle from 1984, I'm not that concerned about this uh, because it's done its job so long. and. In all actuality, the vehicle would still start. It just wasn't running very well, and we were seeing uh, a loss of compression. Because what happens is when this cylinder and this cylinder compress, it dumps the compression into each other cylinder. Because when this is compressing, when this piston is compressing the air, it's going to force it out any any point it can. It's going to force it right out and through these weak points. So we're going to gain our compression back and we're going to see a big in increase in that. 